As the Royal Air Force's Typhoon became outclassed by enemy aircraft during World War II, it would be the mighty Hawker Tempest that would come to revolutionize British combat aviation. Today, as the Eurofighter Typhoon reaches the end of its career, it will be a groundbreaking Tempest aircraft that will bring the Royal Air Force to a new age of air superiority again. The incoming sixth generation fighter promises to shake the world of combat aviation to its core by delivering a warplane capable of conducting manned or unmanned operations. Bolstered by a deep learning artificial intelligence, swarming drones, and direct energy and hypersonic weapons, the new Tempest might eventually spearhead the Royal Air Force's incursion into the future of aerial warfare. The product of a significant international effort, it is expected to enter the world's battlefields in 2035. And if Britain delivers a mere fraction of what it promises, the Tempest could shatter the concept of what a warplane can do. began developing and designing a possible prototype in 2015 to address the need for a new fighter. And by 2017, the UK had joined forces with Japan to work on the project together. In the agreement signed by both parties, the aircraft was described as, quote, an aircraft, manned or unmanned, whose prime function is to conduct air-to-air -air and or air-to-surface combat operations in a hostile and or contested environment whilst having the ability to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and command and control tasks. Soon after, the Tempest program was officially named, and its specific objectives were clarified. The program was meant to produce a sixth-generation jet fighter incorporating several state-of-the-art technologies, including deep learning artificial intelligence, unmanned flight capabilities, swarming drones, directed energy weapons, virtual cockpit helmets, and hypersonic weapons. In addition, two billion pounds were assigned to the project's initial phase until 2025. The aircraft was initially planned to be developed by a group called Team Tempest, consisting of BAE Systems as project leader and systems integrator, Rolls-Royce delivering power and propulsion systems, Leonardo SPA providing sensors, electronics and avionics, MBDA working on weapons, and the Royal Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office. However, the project had grown in scale by 2019, with Italy and Sweden joining, and several other European technology companies also entering the venture, along with several British universities. Many analysts have argued that the fighter's future is being put in too many hands at once, and that this could lead to disputes and disagreements, similar to those during the development of the Eurofighter, where France went as far as abandoning the project. 
On the other hand, many welcome the addition of more nations that can provide their expertise and funds to create a powerful new aircraft that can face up against what's currently being devised. <laughs>